So let us start with this problem. An athlete runs a distance of 1500 meter in the following manner. Starting from rest, starting from rest, he covers a distance of 900 meter with an acceleration of 2 meter per second square. He then covers the remaining 600 meter with the speed that he has developed. Okay. Now that means the remaining 600 meter is covered with that uniform speed that he has attained. Calculate the time taken for covering the two parts and also find the time when he is at the center of the track. Right? Now, uh, first of all, first of all, let us draw a simple sketch here. So at t is equal to 0, he is at a and the total length of track is 1500 meters. They say that first 900 meter, that somewhere here, okay, and this distance is covered with acceleration 2 meter per second square, okay, and whatever velocity that he attains, whatever speed that he attains at point C, that speed will be continued for the remaining 600 meter. So that is what we understand, okay, and now we need to find the time taken for both the parts, okay. Now here he is starting from rest, so I know that my initial velocity u is equal to 0. What else do I know? I know that the acceleration is equal to 2 meter per second square and the distance covered here, it is s it is 900 meter and this is for from A to C so A to C the first part okay now how do we do this now I can use I can use any of the three kinematical equations now first equation is V is equal to U plus A T so I know that U is 0 I know A I don't know V and I also don't know t. So first equation I would not be using. What about the second equation? Second equation is s is equal to ut plus half at square. I know, yes, I know that my initial velocity is 0 and uh, displacement that is 900 meter that I know, correct. And acceleration I know, I don't know time, correct. So can I find out time? I can do that and that is what I need to do, right. They have asked me to find the time taken for uh, completing both the parts. So first part I can get, I can definitely get. What about the second part? Second part, for second part, I need speed. Correct. So either I use the second kinematical equation and find time required. And with that time, I'll get my velocity. This is method number one. The method number two would be... Uh, I use the third kinematical equation v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s correct and over there I don't know v okay so I'll find out v I know my acceleration and I know the distance so I can very easily find out v uh, from that but again for time I have to uh, do some calculation so my choice here it is going to be using second equation so s is equal to u t plus half a t square so 900 meter is equal to 0 plus half into 2 into t square I am calling this time as t1 and this time as t2 time taken from a to c and c to b so t1 square correct so this is obviously going to be cancelled so my t1 is going to be equal to square root of 900 which is 30 second so one part is done okay I need to find out my velocity so the velocity attained at point C so velocity at C okay now for that I can use the first kinematical equation because I know the time here so my V is equal to u plus a t 
so my uh, velocity will be equal to 0 plus 2 into what is my t1 my t1 is 30 seconds so that is equal to 60 meter per second that is my velocity here correct now what about what about this time now for covering the remaining 600 meter this athlete he is going to he is going to maintain the same speed he is going to maintain the same speed so now for that time so uh, uh, my distance 600 is equal to velocity into time that is t2 right therefore my t2 is equal to 600 upon what is my velocity is it not 60 here so that is equal to 10 second so my t2 is equal to 10 second now so my first part first part of the question is done my total time is 30 seconds plus 10 seconds okay so calculating time with my velocity at uh, uh, my velocity c onwards c from c up to b it is going to be 60 meter per second okay this athlete seems to be very very swift okay but then it's okay you can ignore that part let us move to the second part of the question they want you to find the time when he is at the center of the track time when he is at the center of the track uh, the track length is 1500 meter right so center of the track let us say D and that is going to be equal to 750 meter okay so now for that now I'm, I'm, I'm just clearing this okay you can um, play the video again and uh, look if you really want now from A to D okay my displacement is 750 meter I know my acceleration is 2 meter per second square okay for the first 900 meter my acceleration was 2 meter per second square so obviously for 750 meter my acceleration is going to remain same okay and I need to find out the time so what do I do now um, so my s is equal to ut plus half a t square I'm going to use the same thing I, I would write 750 is equal to half into 2 into t square right so my t square is going to be 750 so t will be equal to square root of 750 that would be equal to 25 into 30 right and uh, uh, 30 is again how do you how do you uh, factorize 30 for getting a perfect square there's no way right so I would say it would be 5 root 30 you can calculate that uh, uh, that time on your calculators and just get the answer right thank you so much in the next video we are going to have one more uh, problem on kinematic equations of motion for uniform acceleration thank you so much